There we go. The CX-5 is now a Tesla. Okay, so on this episode of the Quarantine Chronicles, I thought we'd do something different. Nothing working on a car per se, but I am in my cousin's CX-5, and he has recently got himself a lovely new iPad Pro. He came up to me and said, can we make a mount for the car? More specifically, can we convert the existing phone mount that's already in this car? The cool thing about the CX-5 is that someone actually out there on Amazon makes this sort of, um, this bracket right here that just sort of clips into the dashboard, giving you access still to like the hazards, the, 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 the the AC vents and whatnot. And then they have the phone mount and that just sort of slides right in there. So could we convert this thing into a iPad mount? I was like, hmm, challenge accepted. So we both spent about four hours one night trying to figure out this problem. And uh, we, we were up till like 2, 2, 2 a.m. Dennis, when were we up till? 2? Yeah, I think so too. So we had to make something, some sort of bracket that would basically hold inside that little slot and be sturdy enough to hold onto the iPad. So what basically we ended up doing was uh, we, I have a whole bunch of these like extra metal plate things, that all sorts of doodads in here that are, are left over from like Ikea furniture and whatnot. And this is what we came up with. Um, basically, we took a bunch of those metal bracket things and just screwed them all together. There's no instructions on how to make this because frankly, we don't even know how we made it. If you look right here, there's a bunch of like screws to keep this part kind of sturdy. This is what goes into the slot. And then this is the part that's gonna hold up the iPad. You may be wondering what these two things are. These are basically some really strong magnets that my cousin got off of Amazon that he was going to use for something else. So this is that lid earlier and then, there we go. Now you may be wondering to yourself, how on earth does the iPad stick onto this? Well, it doesn't stick onto this directly. The iPad does have magnets in it to hold on the different accessories, but they are not anywhere near the middle. They are more sort of on the side right there. So how on earth do we get the iPad to stick onto those magnets? Well, there's one accessory that relies solely on magnets that Apple sells, which is the Smart Folio. This is a Amazon ripoff. It's a big flat piece of thing, iPad just sticks on it like that and it holds it rather sturdily. Look at that. So we got an extra one, cut off the front flap a bit and 3M'd this giant piece of random metal I again found in my random metal box. And basically that goes on to this like that. So that goes on the car. This goes on to here, iPad goes on right there. Let me show you how this works. With well, this thing that we made, just take it, shove it in the slot right there. Take our uh, destroyed case here with the metal plate and then just, and then take the iPad and just boop. There we go. CX-5 is now a Tesla. Mm -hmm. Cool thing about the iPad is it has Bluetooth. Just go up to Spotify. Hey, and now we have our full audio system here. Yeah, you could do all sorts of stuff, like listen to the newest episode of our no, podcast. Intro sucks. This is a LTE model, so technically, anywhere you have data, you could be doing any of this on the road, which makes it fun because you get essentially your giant, you know, Tesla style navigation screen right here. The question is, does this stay on while we drive? Yeah. This is my cousin Dennis, by the way. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna road test this here rig. Pretty large speed bump coming up. Let's see if this goes. Nope. We're good. There you go, another speed bump. Starting to Walmart Supercenter. Hey, look at that. We have a giant navigation screen. How do you like your Tesla? New turn. Still good. Still good. Yep, there we go. Yes. We have on. 
Yep, yeah, we're, we're still there. Have transcended. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like this iPad is stuck on with glue or anything. It's literally just magnets. You just take it, and there we go. It's uh, it's free from its its, its mounting thing, and you just stick it back on. So uh, yeah, that's how you turn your CX-5 into a Tesla. Obviously, it's not the cheapest thing in the world. First of all, you need yourself an iPad Pro with LTE, I guess, and uh, you have to have. You have to have a CX-5. <laughs> it, it, but if you got that and you got one of these like uh, cheap Amazon cases and some cheap metal bits, then then you're good. Again, not the most helpful video today, but just something we were up to during quarantine. So uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with us again today. And uh, well, be safe out there. Wear a mask, wash your hands, and uh, see you in the next one.